My name is Tina Chen. And I'm Melissa Smith. And we are at the 2012 National Night Out. We're going to go check out some neighborhoods around Kent and see what's going on. We're here with Target is one of our sponsors. Uh, the Kent Police Department is out in full force tonight. We're going to go visit some neighborhoods around Kent and see what they're doing to celebrate National Night Out and take their neighborhoods back. Let's go. National Night Out. Now, what are we doing here today? Oh, we are just celebrating being neighbors. This is a neighborhood that was established with the homes around here, but it's the people that make the neighborhood. So with National Night Out, that's where the people get to meet their neighbors so that they can be stronger in fighting against crime by preventing it, by knowing who is a neighbor so they know who's not a neighbor. National Night Out is our opportunity to work and interact with our community where our community can get together uh, often as part of block watch groups to help prevent crime. Can you tell us about what block watch is? Our block watch, the way we envision it, is a group of community residents who really just kind of keep an eye on how things are developing. I mean, it's really just a, if you see something, say something kind of approach. Our officers, although they're wonderful, can't be everywhere at all the time, so we have to be the eyes and ears for them so that they can make sure that they're where they need to be when they need to be. My block watch has a very active email system and when there's a strange vehicle, a strange animal, anything that's out of the ordinary for the neighborhood, I get an email immediately and it says block watch alert. And I know that I can click on it and then I'm part of one of those eyes that's watching my neighborhood. We send out email alerts and uh, crime alerts if something happens. So we, we, we know people who respond and thank you or, or, or send you an alert. Tonight it's great to be able to actually uh, put a name to the face and, and then being able to meet these people in person. So this is a great event. They are so diverse throughout Kent. You've got the West Hill and the East Hill and different things going on uh, in the community. So Block Watch is a great program for neighbors to communicate with each other. That cul-de-sac, we're all known to each other. That cul-de-sac, we're all known to each other, but they don't know e either way. So get them together. Even though we live in a gated community, we still are subjected to some problems, and so we talk about what we can do to prevent that. The robbery that happened on Christmas, they were our next door neighbors. Neighbors have called in to 911 reporting suspicious activity when the police have responded, got into the area, located the suspects, and actually solved residential burglaries and other crime and criminal activity. And what this is about is getting neighbor to meet neighbor so that we don't feel to, that we're strangers with one another, that we know each other, and that we can take some element of responsibility for each other's safety. So it could happen to anyone. Yeah, it could. So it's, it's nice to get to know everybody, in, like everybody in the whole complex. And so I think it's, it's a good program, yeah. I'm with Jenny Wetzel from Target. And how are you involved with National Night Out this year, Jenny? Um, I am the coordinator of Target. Um, I've been helping coordinate this event in partnership with Sarah. What does Target get back for their involvement with this program? Um, it really allows our team to get involved in the communities. Um, they absolutely love these volunteer events where they can get out of the store and really hang out with each other um, and again just enhance the relationships with, uh, within each other and within the community. 
We, we have a lot of, especially in our community, like uh, we are Hispanic, we communicate a lot. So um, my neighbor, I can talk to my neighbor. So we are like, uh, all, always we are like together. We are more open. So they say hi to us and, uh, and it's important uh, to watch other, uh, our neighbors. So I, I just think it's great to see all the different people who live in our community and also have an opportunity to get to know some of the people that, you know, uh, that we don't necessarily see on a daily basis. Usually I have gone out with the groups and gone around to different ones and this year I decided to just sort of stay in my own neighborhood and meet my own neighbors and so it's been really fun to just see all the kids and get to know all my neighbors and talk about safety issues and making sure that, you know, our neighborhoods are safe for everyone. Oh, hi Sloan. And Sloan thinks that's very important as well. What are the benefits of, you know, getting to know your neighbors and neighborhoods in Kent doing the same? Well, some of the things that I have found out in the past, besides learning about how to prevent crime from occurring at your home with your family, the fact is people begin to talk and share what their interests are. They end up finding they can help each other. It helps everybody in the neighborhood get to know each other get to know each other's cars and really what we encourage is people to call 911 when they need when they see something suspicious in their neighborhood if a strange car shows up and and it's suspicious don't call me don't call the manager call the police when i moved into this community came back home west i was so glad that national night out was part of this community so really eager to support it because I've seen neighborhoods change with efforts like this. This is just part of the effort. There is crime, and, and that stopping it and preventing it starts locally and just raising that awareness among residents to speak out if they see something because, I mean, some of the innocence incidents we've had here in the past could have been you know, completely avoided had someone simply said something. It's a, an absolutely great event, um, uh, promoting the safeness and security within the community, building those relationships. Um, I don't think that we can do enough of that. We're all in this together. And I think the other thing about National Night Out, it's amazing what you can end up having to eat. What's your favorite part about National Night Out? Mine is the food. <laughs> the hot dogs and the hamburgers are pretty good. If I give them extra special food, lasagna and enchiladas and potato salads, and I mean, I did it all because I want them to remember it and next year come out even more. But next year, I'm going to delegate. We can't thank enough for the police chief and the mayor Cook for stopping by, that, that means the world to us, so we're really thankful for that. Well, National Night Out is a program that is deeply rooted in the basic tenets of the Kent Police Department. And the reason we've embraced it so well is because it does form that bond of communication and relationship with the community. It's really nice to see a lot of the Kent Police Department out oh, and yeah. visiting different neighborhoods and meeting the people that are actually there. What are some of the benefits of that? Well, certainly we know our police what, that while most of the time they don't have to be dealing with conflicts, that's usually what we read about is there is a confrontation or there's an accident. There's something negative in life that requires us to have police. This is a great positive event. I mean, it shows that they are a part of our community and we do need their help along with the fire department, so it's great. And here is your prime example. You got the lights on, you know, you don't really get to see that unless, you know, something's happening. So here it is, we're having a fun event. The lights are on, the kids get, you know, prizes, I got a bouncy house, so it, it's, it's been great. Just showing their presence, showing that they care about our community, that they're going to be here for us um, when we need them. That was just them, their presence is all we needed. Well, I played um, some games with my friend here, Rebecca, and we got some rocks. Great, and how important is National Night Out to you, Cool Bird? As you can see, very important to Cool Bird.